roll. Um, I just made three other videos of like half an hour total content. I'm going to make another one. Um, and this is about slide technique. So Ian Boosfield makes all these random videos for things. I don't know if it's for like a company or something, but he had this one talking about slide technique that really kind of changed how I do things. Um, my teacher, Jim, is very, I don't want to say anal, because he's totally right, but he's very specific about slide technique not being bad. Um, and I like to sum up basically what he says in saying rhythmic slide. So the slide is never out of time. If you're going to play, even that was not perfect. If you're going to play that, you can't play that with a slow slide. You can hear how there's just little, oh, what, what, oh, what? There's little spots where the notes just go, don't go from note to note, but they go note uh, to note. And you can't have that, especially things that are going like. If you go. If you just move a little bit slower, it ruins the whole thing, and now it sounds like you're not going to try them. So basically, rhythmic slide. And I love that, and that's what I teach to my students and in marching band sections and stuff like that. And people are like, oh, this slide has to be in. Oh. I mean, it's just like vowels. You can't move vowels like like even if it's legato, they don't move slower just because it's the music slower, whatever. The slide always has to move in time, and sometimes it's fast, and pretty much all the time it's fast. I mean, I, there's no reason for. This is a slow legato phrase. But hey, the slide still moves fast. Because that time in between the notes is nil. The slide has literally zero time to be the next spot. So you better be as close to that as possible. So, Ian Boosfield makes these videos, and he had this one. He's talking about slide technique, and he talked about this exercise he does where he'll play short notes. And, you know, most people, if they played a short, like, a scale with short notes, they'll use their slide like this. They kind of, like, move their slide halfway in between when the note ends and the next one starts. So, ba, ba, ba. And what he does is he has this exercise where he moves the slide exactly when the note starts. It's like... Wait, is that even possible? And I was like, I need to try this. I just mixed some scales up there. Um, I wanted to do B flat and then A, and I think I skipped the note in the A scale. G sharp, I skipped G sharp. So you see that and you're like, what? You can move the slide while the note starts. And then miss F's in the staff. Yeah, you can do that too. Um, so this exercise really like kind of blew my mind and I was like, I need to do that. And I do it now. Um, I need to do it more often actually because my slide technique is not perfect as it is. But it's like a really cool exercise and I'd like you guys to try that out. Just moving the slide exactly when the note starts. And hey, it incorporates scales. Yay, scales. And you can do this with all sorts of different things. Um, I like to play scales in thirds because they're more interesting than just scales. And it really forces you to be accurate because you have to get to that note exactly when the note starts, and if you're in the wrong place, ah, well, I missed fourth position. I guess it's just a wrong note now. Whereas before, if you moved earlier, ah, I can move again. That's kind of cheating, right? You don't get to do that in a fast passage. Oh, well, I guess my slide was wrong on all those notes. Uh, that's a pretty cool technique. I'd like you guys to try it out. Moving, and I'll, I'll put a link to the video if I can find it in the description of 
this video down there somewhere. Cool. See you guys later.